Hey, what's up, guys? It's Diamond7. I'm back with another card trick. So we can start off by giving the cards a shuffle, like so. And you can just take this card, E6 of Diamonds, and you can place it into the middle. You could also give the cards a shuffle and some cuts. So hopefully the card isn't at the bottom or at the top. Well, actually, it is right here, so we could just put that right there. So I'm going, to, I'm going to take this deck and I'm going to put it straight into my pocket, like so. And I would say that the card is around 10, maybe 20 cards in the deck. So we'll just count that much cards. So here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we'll just square up all the cards. Now the selected card is the Six of Diamonds. So, what we're going to do, well, actually I predicted that the 20th card is the Six of Diamonds. Check out the tally. So anyway, you're going to get the spectator to select any card. It'll be okay if you look at the card, so in this case it's the Ace of Hearts. And you could just put it anywhere you want in the deck. So, go inside. And since you already know that the card is the Ace of Hearts, you could give the deck as many shuffles as you want. And your card won't be at the top, hopefully, and at the bottom. So you could even shuffle the cards up a bit more, depends on how much you like to shuffle. I like to shuffle. But anyway, in the performance, you may have noticed me going through the deck and cutting the deck while I was talking. And I actually cut the deck at the selected card. And in the performance, it was the Six of Diamonds. So I would cut it right there, where the Six of Diamonds, or whatever the card is, is going to be on top. And I move my arms around a lot to kind of uh, hide that I'm actually cutting to their card. And you could talk about anything you want, pretty much. But the move, the real move that's going to happen is when you put the cards in your pocket. So you could select any number, doesn't matter. So let's say you select 15. You go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now you have to stop at the number before the selected number, because if you don't, you're going to get a random card. So once you get to 14, in this case, you're going to grab their card, which is at the top, right there, and that's going to be your next card. So that no matter what number they pick, they're going to, always going to land on the selected card. Now you could get the card 
at to the top, I mean, at the top, using any method you want. You could use a card control, any card control you want. Let's say, yeah, that one just failed. But you could use any card control you want to get the card to the top. So you could do um, this one right here, and it gets the Ace of Hearts or the selected card to the top. And the rest is just acting. So I hope you guys like that trick. Make, sh make sure to like this video if you like it. Leave your comments down in the comment section below, and I will see you in the next video.